Every time I get a new computer, I always do some quick cleaning with alcohol. This is just uh, normal alcohol um, isopropyl. Just to clean up because I don't know who used it before, where it was. Uh, if it was somebody with any diseases or anything, I don't know. So I want to make sure I clean it up at least that doesn't have any any weird stuff. Later, I'll do a more complete cleaning, but at least I'm gonna clean it, sanitize it, let's call it. <clears throat> All right, I did a very, very light pass with one of these uh, magic erasers. You gotta be very careful, because what I did is just put this in water and then pass it lightly, lightly, just very, very careful with the with the letters, those places. I just pass it really lightly to to take out uh, blemishes and scratches. And as you can see, it got rid of some of the scratches on the front, so it's really good. And also got rid of scratches in the back. There was a, a bunch of lights, uh, a bunch of a little um, white scratches. They're gone. So now what I'm gonna do. Very careful too. I got this uh, Megiar's Scratch X. This is for plastic. This is for um, uh, the front uh, plastic um, car lights. So I'm gonna try to do this just again, lightly, very lightly. So it cleans up a little bit and makes it a little bit more um, clean. And I start from the back. So if something goes wrong, at least it's underneath. And I'll just do it to the parts that I know that they're very scratched and they need some, some work. So this will supposed to make it shiny. And as you can see, I'm not doing it very hard, just lightly. Mm -hmm. Edges. This is just to, to make it I mean, clean up scratches and little dents that may have. And again, I'm doing this very, very lightly. And I, I can see that there's no, no damage. And actually will, all the scratches that were here are completely gone. So I'm gonna do it on the front slightly too. Okay, so before I open it up, I want to finish some things. One thing that bothers me is that there's some scratches down here and that's because the, the feet were really bad. They were just pieces of felt that were really getting older and older. So it was getting scratched underneath. So I took them out and I 3D printed with TPU some feet and they say MSX. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is, MSX. So I'm just gonna put them over there. And they're gonna say MSX. I mean, you're never gonna see them too much, but it's cool to have them. So I'm gonna just put them in. And I did one for the center, because in the center there's a big thing. So I did a big one that says MSX2. And it's just gonna be in the center. And it will fit perfectly. So that's it. I'm just gonna put some glue underneath. And I'm gonna put these new feet, MSX feet. I don't know if people like it or not, but I, I kind of, uh, you know, I got some TPU and um, this is like rubber. So instead of having those things, and it's gonna sit a little bit higher than, than normal. So it's not gonna be scratching things anymore. There you go. All right, so here comes a moment of, moment of truth. I'm going to connect these the power and we're gonna power up this beauty it's connected to the monitor to the AV no signal and oh yeah here we go beautiful VRAM 128 wow it works the FD that the flop is trying to find something and it's Flashing here, I think, oh yes, if I touch this over here, it stops. 
if I go over here, it goes faster. Let's see what it does here. Yeah, here goes another one. So I don't know what these do, but they, they light on. Let's see. Yeah. I think everything works. Looks like it does. Yep. Wow. Yep, it's working. Oh, this is not. Well, there's one key that is not working, this one. Let's see if shift works. Yeah, it works. But this is not working. Maybe it's a special. I don't know. What about this? Oh, this is kind of the caps lock, maybe. Let's select, graph, cap. Shift, control, tab. Tab's working. The numbers are working. So maybe this, this key is something special. We'll see later, but at least and it pauses. Oh yeah. And that's a reset. Yep, it resets the machine. And I got a bunch of things, stop, delete, INS, home, etc., etc. So looks like it's working. Well, now that we know that this computer works, I'm gonna try to make a floppy. What I did is I contacted a friend of mine, Retrofox, and he was very nice telling me some information about it and also send me a bunch of disk images. So I'm gonna go to my good old trusty applesauce and make a floppy for this with one of the images that he sent. Here we are. This is the floppy that I just made with applesauce. So let's put it in and start it up. Well, there it is, mule. Amazing. And there it is. The game is there. It's working. Flop is working. Let's look at other things. I'm going to have to cut this video short because I am still waiting for the caps. I need to replace the caps for the audio to work. And also I ordered a cartridge, a multi cartridge, so I can run a bunch of games and add memory. So I'll be showing that in the new video. So please remember to comment, share, subscribe, like, and see you next time.